So, in case there's any doubt, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. The Nine Arches Railway Bridge near Ella, Sri Lanka. Everybody's here for the same reason. Next train in an hour and a half. Bad timing. Yes, the bridge was a wonderful place for people watching, even if some of it bordered on being dangerous. Of course I did wait. How could you pass up in this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see a train going over the Nine Arch Bridge? How could you? Well, I'll show you how. One of the things you have to do in Ella is, no, not go to this Hindu temple, although that might be nice. It's really small. Almost looks like a family temple. No, you must go here. Sun's in my way, but right up there. You must go to the Nine Arches Bridge. That's where you gotta go. It's a famous bridge. Last time I missed out on an opportunity like this was in Myanmar, where in the north there's a bridge like that. People travel for hours and hours to get to that bridge. What I'm talking about is the Gok Taik Viaduct in northern Myanmar, which is a magnet for railway buffs. Like I said, if I would have had the time, I would have gone there. This is a railway in the north of uh, Myanmar that leads to the Chinese border. Your viewing travels with Lobo, a three-week discovery tour of Sri Lanka. Thank you for joining me. Vlog number 27. By the way, the thumbnail of my homepage shows me at the very bridge that this vlog is about. In this vlog, I show you how I got to the Nine Arches Bridge from Ella. I conclude that uh, some of the activity down there is too dangerous for me, but if you're a YouTuber, Instagram, or influencer, it seems to be okay. Tension about waiting for the train. The train arrives. It's the wrong train. Something about pressing the record button, and I snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. You gotta see this. If English is not your first language, then click on closed captioning to see the dialogue in print. To see the text in your language, go to settings and click on auto translate and pick your language. In this case, I picked Korean. Don't need to travel for hours and hours here. It's just uh, two kilometers outside of town. And now I'm walking about a kilometer. To get to a viewpoint, there's a train coming at 11 o'clock. Here, on my walk to the Nine Arches Bridge, right by Tuk Tuk, I get my first close up of tea. Tea. There. Wonder what they actually pick. Must be the very, it looks like they might pick the top tea leaves. These uh, tip tips are really put through their faces here for these steep elevations. So I've reached a point where you can see the tracks down there. Oh, yeah, the one people also there. Yeah. Can go to doubt. Yeah. The, the cafe, the Asanka cafe. Oh, there's a cafe there. Yeah. Okay. That's, Asanka cafe. Yeah, that's good, yeah. All right, you can see the tracks there. Unfortunately, the next train is not for almost two hours from now. Yeah. Misinformation all around. Much better view from here. Nine Arches Bridge. Right there. Isn't that a neat view? Interesting uh, sign here. Don't fly drones. The bees will attack private property. And here is the Asanka Cafe with the best view of the bridge. Let's test that theory. So you learn a lot from other travelers, obviously. And I was just talking to a couple. They walked from Ella train station up this way through the tunnel. So I could walk through the tunnel back to Ella, two kilometers along the railway tracks. Might just do that. Up there, straight ahead, are the treacherous slopes that I came down to get here to this bridge. But over here, I see tuk-tuk, so there must be a road that goes from right there back. 
and I'm uh, gonna walk through that tunnel back to back to the city Ella getting down here is extremely treacherous you got to be really careful I wouldn't want to come down here in the rain oh my god he's carrying a kid and wearing sandals I better get out of the way These people have amazing agility. He just went down, down that steep stuff like there's no tomorrow. Finally down. This is a guy blowing at his fire to roast his corn. Mangoes. Hope it's not papaya. It probably is. People waiting for a bus. Uh, not. There's no bus down here. And, uh, yeah. Those yellow fruits that I misidentified as mangoes are coconuts. Coconuts. Next chain will be coming around the bend in an hour and a half. So, in case there's any doubt, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. The Nine Arches Railway Bridge near Ella, Sri Lanka. Everybody's here for the same reason. Next train in an hour and a half. Bad timing. Here you can get an idea exactly how, how large those arches are. And, and a nice touch, the slopes here are covered with, you guessed it, tea. Wow, what scenery. Looks like if you're really adventurous, there's a path that leads right down there. Not too many people going down there. Some people uh, trying their best at picking tea or maybe just taking a photo. Others are going for the YouTube shot. Yes, the bridge was a wonderful place for people watching, even if some of it bordered on being dangerous. Would you really sit here? But on second thought, I see a lot of people later who are doing exactly the same thing without a worry in the world. And I checked the papers the next day and there's no story of anybody falling off the Nine Arches Bridge, so everything's okay. Look at this enthusiasm for the bridge. Wow. Perfect shot. There, there we are. And, uh, of course, everybody who comes here comes here for the perfect shot, and a lot of them are. But here's a story of uh, two Portuguese influencers, don't you love that term, influencers, who um, hung out the side of the train to get their money shot. Many people felt uh, that uh, it was much too dangerous just for that moment of glory on Instagram. Influencers. Yeah, influencers. Are you being influenced to do the same thing? Speaking of daring, this is as daring as I got standing on the inside of the abutment along the bridge. No glory there. Here. Yep. YouTube shot right there. More YouTube shots. You got to admire the lushness of the vegetation particularly over here, all those palm trees. Wow, beautiful. And the tea as I walk across the bridge. Those yellow fruits that I misidentified as mangoes are coconuts, coconuts. I'm near the tunnel. Beautiful view in the shade, back across the bridge. Don't think I'm going to wait for another hour for the train, so... 
Of course I did wait. How could you pass up in this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see a train going over the Nine Arch Bridge? How could you? Well, I'll show you how. It's really getting crowded now. People just killing time. There's a lot of perfect shots here. That was one of them. <laughs> Oh, I had to bridge the lawn up against <laughs> Yes, yes. Where are you from? People are starting to scurry. Unless it's coming up from uh, But it's definitely coming from there, right? Well, I'm hoping, right? I'm hoping it's, it is. It's got to be, because, I mean, the, the people from the, the, people from the uh, tea shop should know. Oh, yeah. You can feel the tension in the air yeah. as uh, we hear the roar of the motors of the engine, I think. Yeah. Unless it's my imagination. Uh, the police are scurrying people off the tracks. That's a good sign. Yep. But I keep hearing noise behind me. I hope you're enjoying this money shot of the train going across the bridge. The only problem is that it's the wrong bridge. Here's my version of that shot. If you're a vlogger, you know that sometimes you can get so excited just to get the right shot that you press the wrong button. That's what happened to me. Unbelievable. I did not get the wonderful and glorious shot of the train crossing the Nine Arches Bridge. Even though I waited for two hours and I was standing right there in the perfect spot. However, to snatch a semi-victory out of the jaws of defeat, I did get this shot while crossing the bridge on the way to Badula. Thank you for viewing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very disappointed in what happened here, but c'est la vie. It wasn't the only vlog disappointment that I suffered in Ella to be explained later. Uh, so join me in next Friday for uh, the climb to Little Adam's Peak, the other must-do outing around Ella. See you then.